friends, I'm Ryan, this is Demos in the Dark. Sit back, relax, we're gonna check out the new Bard from Electronic Audio Experiments. Now the Bard is based off of the Music Man HD 130 preamp. Um, that was an amp that had a tube power amp and a solid state preamp. It was both loved by few and panned by many, but there's a really great sounds inside of that amplifier. That amp, like the overdrives were just trashy. The cleans were really, really nice. It was a interesting amp for sure that, you know, was used on quite a few records. The controls are pretty simple. We have a level control and that is the output of the pedal. It has a ton of output, so it worked really, really well as a boost. Then we have the drive control. This interacts very much with the EQ settings as well as the bright switch. Beneath there, we have the EQ. You have your lows and your highs. Then we have the bright and normal switch. This is mostly useful in the lower gain settings and doesn't have much of an impact in the higher gain settings, which is true of bright switches on amplifiers anyway. So we're gonna get some sounds out of this pedal here. When I try out gear, I don't come with a battery of licks and riffs. I find endless soloing to be a distraction. So I just, you know, kind of noodle and play simple stuff and listen to what the pedal is doing. And that's what we're gonna do here tonight. We're gonna start out with single coils. I have a Scythe Guitars OH20. I'm plugged into a silk tone amp. Silk tone amp sounds like this. All right, we got everything pretty much nooned out here. Let's just take a stab at it and see what kind of sounds we can get out of it. So that is uh, that's a discernible difference there. We'll go back into the normal. And then back up to the bright. Cool. That's very cool. So let's uh, let's add some gain to that. The bright switch should be less discernible at this point. And 
there's still something there. There should be a very slight difference. Yeah, you can't really hear it much. Alright, so here we have a Grez Guitars Mendocino. In here we have Righteous Sound. Our top pickups are actually underwound our top pickups, so it's got a very vintage uh, sound to it. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Definitely noticeable there if you have um, kind of dark pickups, uh, that bright switch is very useful. Since, you know, we as guitar players don't like to go too far off noon when it comes to EQ settings, but I, you know, you push those highs with a humbucking guitar and it's nice and crisp. this pedal a lot. This pedal sits in a gain range that I generally appreciate. Um, it also has a amount of headroom that I also really, really appreciate with drive pedals. It sounds different than, you know, pedals trying to achieve that tube-like distortion. Um, it certainly has a, a sound all of its own, um, and it's one that I really enjoy. It's not 
decidedly vintage, although it is vintage and it's not modern, but it is modern. It's just like it kind of sits in this weird world all of its own, which, you know, kind of encompasses the late 70s and early 80s when this amp was out there. It's just kind of like, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> so, um, and that's when I grew up. So I'm, I'm well aware of that. So thanks, John, for sending this over for me to check out. And as always, thank you for the privilege of your time. <laughs>